We went from fire Lindy to sorry Lindy chance at the Rock early in the regular season to the Devils heading back to the Prudential Center after back-to-back -back wins and a tied series against the Rangers. New York Post sports columnist Mark Cannizzaro has an article on the site about co the coaching of Lindy Ruff. Now, Mark, thanks for joining us. I mean, it's hard to take a team back from down 0-2, especially in any playoffs out there. So what are some of the coaching changes and adjustments that Coach Ruff has done to coach his team back into this series? Brandon, I think the biggest thing he, that Lindy did, uh, being the veteran that he is, former player, and, and this is his third team coaching in the, in the NHL, is he didn't panic. Uh, he didn't show panic. Um, you know, he, he stayed even keel. He spoke about how he believed in his players. He understood that this Devils team of his had, had less playoff experience than the, than the Rangers did uh, entering this series. And he just realized it was going to take a little bit of time for these guys to get adjusted. And, and, and I think we've seen that unfold, um, you know, as the series has gone on here and the Devils tying it up at two. Um, you know, interestingly, he's done, you know, which I, which I make mention in the column, He's done a really good job psychologically, you know, keeping his players' confidence up and keeping them from being down because they certainly look like, you know, they look pretty bad the first few games. Uh, and he's also done a lot of good tactical stuff as well. Um, most importantly, adjusting to the Ranger power play, um, which was killing them in the first two, you know, the first two games. The Rangers scored uh, goals on four out of the first seven power plays, uh, which you just can't function. You know, you, you can't you can't survive that way and. They're over their their last eleven since then, and the Devils have done a lot of work with Lindy and his assistants, uh, with with film work uh, and stuff and work on the ice. I've, I've been covering their practices. I've seen them spend a lot of time working on the power play and the penalty kill. Uh, so he's done some interesting stuff here, just to kind of, you know, right the ship a little bit and uh, and get his players' confidence back up. Yeah, they've gone from conceding two, 10 goals in games one and two to two goals in games three and four. That's a remarkable turnaround. And during the rough times of playoffs or in the regular season, players have to look up to their leadership, to their coach. So what are the players saying about Coach Ruff and his leadership? You know, I think a little bit of what I was saying there, they, they know Lindy is experienced. He's been there and done it before. So, you know, his even-keeled nature and not panicking – help I think helps them out because I think there was some points in those first two games Brandon where you know there were some of these young players and some of the young stars uh, you know on, on their on their roster that hadn't had playoff experience were kind of you know they were getting frustrated Jack Hughes who's their best player was was really getting frustrated you know you could tell you know speaking to him after the games and, and you know that starts to mess with your head a little bit in terms of you know hey do we belong here you know what happened we just, you know we had 112 points in the regular season and we had five more than the rangers and they're dominating us why is this happening that kind of thing the, the hockey gets so much more defensively tighter in the playoffs and the devils are a free skating team which which with a, you know some amazing skaters i mean you know jack hughes being probably one of the best in the league uh, and they were just finding themselves bottled up. The Rangers are doing a good job with that the first few games. And uh, the Devils have managed the puck a lot, bit better, a lot better the last couple of games, and, and they've kind of freed themselves up again. And I feel like they've liberated themselves now, and now the Rangers are the ones that have to make an adjustment. Right, we got ourselves a series all tied up at two. So do you think there are, there are any more adjustments or changes that Coach Ruff could add to the game plan for game five? I really think he's got to stick with what, what's been working. You know, I think at this point, you know, after the last two games, and particularly about the game three, which, I mean, both games have been very tight. I mean, let's you know, let's be honest. These are both, obviously, you know, game three was an overtime game, uh, which could have gone either way. And I thought, that, I thought that was a very evenly balanced game. I thought game four, the Devils absolutely had the better of play. Uh, Gerard Gallant, you know, the Rangers coach afterwards, was pretty lit into his team pretty well about, you know, they just kind of were listless and didn't have a lot of energy, which was shocking at Madison Square Garden. I think if you're Lindy Ruff, you stick with exactly what's going on. Obviously, you got a, you got a goaltender that now is in his second. We're about to start his third career playoff game, who was playing in the minors just a few months ago, um, who's got some confidence. Um, I think what the Devils do want to do with, with Akira Schmidt, their goalie, the one thing I would wonder about, if they, I'm sure they're working on it in practice, is... He gives up a lot of rebounds. And if I'm the Rangers, I'm peppering him as much as I can because there was a lot of pucks that he's let go and not corralled in. And, and that's a lot of opportunities in front of the net, which the Rangers did not take advantage of because they just didn't have enough traffic in front of him, I, th I thought, in, the, in game four. Well, game five goes down tomorrow at the Prudential Center. You can check out Mark's full article on NewYorkPost.com slash sports. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Brandon. Good talking to you.